Hello beautiful Aries, welcome to your November reading. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising. Please take a look at the other aspects. Woo, hello. If you're looking um, for a full picture. Oh, these aren't all for you, I haven't even shuffled yet. My name's Lorian with Wellington Witch. Welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. And welcome if you're new. Okay, so Aries already, your card's jumping out at me. I, okay, and you too. I have no idea what's going on. Your cards, when I was shuffling in between doing the readings, I thought, oh, okay, I'm going to do Aries next. And it was like, Pff -pff -pff. so yeah, your energy seems to be everywhere at the moment. Let's have a look and see. So you've got three of ones. We have ten of ones. And we have... I think I've just got them the wrong way around, honestly. I think they fell out the wrong way around. Um... That's my honest feeling here. They will tell me if they want to be upside down, but this upside down wants to go underneath. So let me just do that. Upside down, reversals. You know what I mean. Right, let's have a look. We're using the Druidcraft Tarot today. I know some people are very keen to know what cards I use. Uh, so that's what we're using. All right. So you've got three of wands, ace of cups, the death card, seven of swords, ten of wands in reverse. Now reversals don't mean anything nasty, they're just the energy isn't flowing the correct way or the way it should do. There's something that may be blocking it. But even this, the ten of wands, the burden, the feeling of carrying everything and all and sundry, the responsibilities of all, including yours, up the hill, I think this is voluntary. Um, I think you know the burdens you're carrying I think you know exactly why you're doing it but you're not re really looking to release any of the burdens or responsibilities um maybe you feel you can't maybe you feel you can't let go of it maybe it's something that you feel is du your duty to carry this burden of everything on your shoulders or always help or always have many many projects on the go or always do such and such it just feels a little bit like there's something that you need to let go of and again it may be difficult for you to say no to people it may actually be that this month you're wanting to be the yes person you know I always saying yes yeah sure I'll help you yeah sure I'll help you but it's an overtaxing danger here um but I do think you're very aware of what it is it may be that you're afraid to disappoint people this month but let's just have a look it's not normally an Aries thing to do. It's not normally um, something that you feel obliged to do. Like, oh, I'm really afraid of disappointing this person. But it does feel very close. It may be a family member, somebody really, really close to you that you consider family that you just do not want to disappoint. But it also could be that I have so many things that I want to do. I can't risk losing my grip on anything. So I'm going to just continue even though I feel like I'm dragging my feet. That could be something that's coming up as well. But the three of wands here is very much about communication. It's about having that um, preparation and foresight in order to look forward, look ahead. You've had the idea, you've had the progress and discovered what you can do with that idea. And now is the time to put it into action. It's very much coinciding with Aries going direct in the middle of the month. Aries, sorry, Mars, your planet's ruler, that's where I was going with it, your planet's ruler, Mars, is going to go direct in the middle of November. So that is something that I feel is your core thing, because with it being retrograde in Aries, you, especially if you have it in your rising sign, um, you would have felt very sluggish. I think that there's been some times where you just want to propel yourself forwards, but either the, your body or some situation has prevented you from doing it. So while you've been like, yes, come on, let's go, you haven't been able to do that. And that can cause some really deep frustrations, especially if you have Aries rising, where it's your first impressions, your identity, your approach to life. You may have really wanted to change up something there or go ahead with something. It just feels a little bit like, oh, I haven't had the opportunity to do anything that I wanted to do, which is therefore why you might be cramming to make up for it now. Um, but I do see you making the plans, getting things done, actually going into a process of coming to a head with 
something with the plans and actually turning them into reality because you have the ace of cups here you also have the death card now again scorpio scorpio season um and it could also be your co your planet's co-sign um it could be also a dealing with the scorpio but mostly for most of you i feel this is an ending of some kind this is you transitioning into the next phase this is you seeing what you need to do seeing what you need to change and rather than putting brick onto brick onto brick onto brick of this responsibility you are able to move forward and transmute that and go you know what these are things i don't actually need and getting down to the final bits that you do want that you do need that are necessary for instance your emotional health your emotional um contentment feeling like oh, okay i can do this i can handle this without being too ah I know what's going on so i feel like this is a very strong death card here is something that is transformation it's kind of a okay get rid of this so i can bring something else in and it can sometimes be hard if you're resistant to change you ain't gonna like change you ain't gonna like the changes that are going on even though you feel like you have to go through it but it may be something that you just feel exhausted by because of all this you're carrying as well so they're just trying to say Get ready to just have three sticks. Get rid of the other seven. Just have three sticks. Then you'll feel emotionally, vibrationally awake, refreshed. This will then enable you to kind of take a deep breath in, revitalize yourself. The seven of swords, I think actually, instead of being a prediction, is a warning not to tax your mental, tax your mental health, tax your um, energy. And I do feel this is towards the end of the month, really. But it just feels a little bit like you're straining slightly. Um, and I do feel that this is going to be something that you're kind of coming to terms with slightly. Um, there's something that just doesn't seem to be fitting right with it. So they don't want you to do a complete reversal of all the good work that you've already done. So whether it be your health, whether it be, you know, improvements to your mental space, they don't want you to suddenly have a reversal because you've taken on too much during this transformational stage. So ideally, please do measure yourself, take care of yourself and don't overdo it. Easier said than done sometimes. Um, but I do think self-care in this issue is important. You're coming into November off of a full moon in Taurus, which, if your Aries rising, is your second house of values and money. So I do feel that value your health. Wherever you place value, Taurus will help you. The Taurus Venusian energy will help you either make a change in it or improve it. But it does need you to make an intent, first of all, as to what you want to do with it, what you want to accomplish with it. So I feel like this is kind of saying... Any energy that you feel that you need to change, definitely start now. Okay, so let's have a look, see, and see. Just getting some clarifiers here from the Psychic Tarot. Again, are you jumping up and down at me? All right. Heartache and loss. Okay, so yeah, another three. So this could be that you have literally had some heartache recently and you're just feeling a bit like, ugh, I can't really do it or there's been some ups and downs lately and you're just still recovering emotionally from that. This just means, again, you're carrying a little bit too much maybe to compensate for something here. I don't know what it is. It's only you that can say that. Um, this is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate, maybe another one will. Um, but I do recognise that the collective, for the most part, has been suffering from this year, and I think you don't need to add any more to it. You don't need to add any more to your burdens or troubles. And then the next one is mental conflict. Again, this here, they don't want you to be too stressed. They don't want you to be too fuzzy-minded with the next stages of your life, with the next places that you want to go. They want you to be clear. And I think that this heartache and loss of this mental comfort, but I still have to keep going. But I still have to keep going. And that could be something that you keep telling yourself. Where really, what you need to do is, okay, I'm just going to carry three sticks, three important things, renew myself, go through this process of transforming myself maybe into the next stage of my life 
and try to avoid this here, this mental conflict, which will really, if you let it, overtake but also delay even more than Mars retrograde, the progress that you should have made this year that kind of, I think this year was a blessing in a way to some of you, but for others it was just a big rock in the way of your progress. So depending on which path you fall, I think that this is going to be now where a case where you pick up your little shoulders and you go, right, now let's go, because it feels like it's coming to some certain climax in a way where you can actually continue. So I do feel that you're on the right track here. I feel like you're going in a very strong, purposeful manner. It's just a case of please do take take care of yourself. I will be Mama Lorian and I will say to you, please do take care of yourself. Make sure that you are connected in with yourself here. And don't worry about other people so much. Yes, take them into consideration. Don't abandon them if you, you know, if promise them that you'll pick them up from the hospital or something um, but it's just a feeling of okay this is for myself and I'm still working with some ideas here but not everything and I think that's just what you need in November it can be a heavy month if you let it it can be very heavy especially here but if you just say you know what I'm going to be kind to myself I think that's going to be much 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 better and you're going to start to see the transformation of your energy much sooner as well which enables you to go into December in 2021 a lot more refreshed. But my Aries let me know in the comments below if this resonated with you and do check out your sun moon rising for a full rounded review of the month ahead for you but in the meantime take care of yourself and each other. I'll speak to you guys soon.